Claude just got a massive update that makes building AI agents so much easier. So in this video, I'm going to show you how. Now, Anthropic released the MCP update. This basically turns Claude into an API by allowing it to run its own servers. So in this video, I'll show you how you can automate anything with Claude MCP. Now, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. And this is basically a way for Claude to interact with external tools and apps. It solves a core challenge that if you built AI agents before you've encountered, connecting them to your data is very difficult. Well, not anymore. Now, people like me and you can actually build Claude powered AI apps way faster and much easier. Now, here is why I believe this will lead to the future of AI agents. Soon enough, all of us will have teams of agents working for us. And I'm absolutely certain of this. Give it a year or two. This update, the Claude MCP update, just made that future come a lot sooner than originally expected. So if you're one of the rare people that will watch this until the end, you will know exactly how to launch multi-step AI agents with just one prompt. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is David Andre and I run The New Society. The New Society is all about AI agents and how we can actually profit from the AI revolution. If you find this video helpful, then I have a lot more in-depth tutorials and guides just like this in The New Society. So check it out, it's linked below. And now let's get to building. All right, so the first thing we have to do is actually download Claude Desktop. So let's go to this link, Claude AI slash download and click on the button for Mac OS or Windows if you have Windows. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to click that. Save. Once it downloads, click on the installer and move Claude into your applications folder. Then we have to open up the Finder app and go into Applications and double click on Claude. Or you can just search for Claude and open the app directly. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you will have to log in. If you don't have a Claude account, what are you doing? I would say right now it is the best AI you can pay for. So absolutely get Claude, create an account. Takes less than a minute. Awesome. So we can click this off and move on to the next step, which is showing you what I'm actually gonna build. Now, I think one of the best sources we can take is the people who actually work at Anthropic, which is the company behind Claude. So Alex Albert is the head of Claude Relations. This is like mind blowing. With one prompt, he basically turned Claude into a full stack web developer that can commit GitHub, visit websites, make changes to them, submit issues, do pull requests, like this is crazy. It's a full-time software developer from your Claude desktop. And all you have to do is type a single prompt in English. So when I saw this out, like my mind was blown. So I'm like, okay, I have to make a video on this. So this is what we're going to be building. Now, unfortunately, he didn't explain how to really set this up in the comments because the setup is not the simplest. That's why I think 95% of people will quit at this step. So if you can just push through the next three minutes, you will be in the top 5% guaranteed. So let's go through it together. Okay, so there are two commands we need to do. This one, open, just, just to open a folder. So open up a terminal, could be any terminal, obviously, if you're on Windows, open up the command line PowerShell, but just paste this in, it's a macOS command that will open this folder. Now in this folder, we actually need to create a new file and the easiest way to do that is to run the second command. By the way, I'm gonna put both of these in the description below the video, so you can just copy paste them. So let's go back to the terminal and copy paste the second command, which will create a new file, Claude desktop config.json. Enter, and now if we go into the file, we should find this exact new file. Beautiful. So what we need to do is we need to open this file, and the easiest way to do that is use a code editor or any text editor will do. Personally, I use cursor, you can use VS Code, you can use even just a notepad. It doesn't really matter. You just need to open the JSON file so you can write inside of it. Okay, that's step four completed. We can click this off. Now let's go into step five, which is going to be set up the Brave Search MCP, which basically lets Claude search the web. Because right now, if we go into the Claude desktop app and we say, uh, what are today's news about Bitcoin? It will tell you, I cannot browse the web. Exactly. So Claude by itself cannot browse the web. Now that might change in the future, but Right now, we need to give it the MCP. We need to give it the relevant tools to actually make this happen, which is exactly why MCP is so important. Okay, so let's go into Vectal AI. But this is my AI app that I'm currently building. And I'm going to be releasing this in the next week or two. So if you want to be one of the first people to have access, fill out the waitlist link below. It's completely free. All right, so let's go to this link, GitHub. Now, this might be super intimidating. Like, oh my God, David, I've never used GitHub. Don't worry. All we have to do is scroll down and we will copy paste this block of JSON which to be honest, isn't even code, it's JSON. So let's copy paste that, go back into our code editor or notepad, whatever you're using. So we need to paste this in and now we need to change the API key. So we need to find our API key. Luckily, this uh, GitHub repo, which is from Anthropic, makes that super easy. Again, I'm gonna link this below the video. So it's super easy to find for you guys. Here are the three steps instructions. So we, we need Brave Search API, which comes with a free plan. 
and we need to generate an API key. So let's click on the first link here. This will take us to the Brave Search API. So either sign up if you've never done this or log in. It's super simple, takes like 30 seconds, very easy. First, you will need to actually choose a subscription, even if you're going with the free tier. And the reason for that is that they want to make sure you don't spam their requests and, you know, go beyond the tier. So you do need to add a credit card, but it's zero dollars. It will not charge you anything. Next, click on API keys. So as you can see, I already have one API key here, but that doesn't matter. Just go to the top right corner, click on add API key. I'm going to name it new society, subscription free, add. And then we can copy this token, copy this, go back into cursor or whatever you're using and replace the your API key with actual API key, save that. The next thing we need to do is actually, we need to go back into Beckle. We can mark, the, mark this as complete. Let's test it out, this is gonna be more fun, okay? So we're gonna fix this a bit. But what I just did, I moved it back so it's formatted. I'm gonna go into Cloud and gonna actually restart Cloud Desktop. You need to restart Cloud Desktop when you add MCP because it takes a few minutes for Cloud to recognize this desktop file and find the MCP server. So do that. And this is what I mean, like, it, it's, you know, it takes a few minutes if you do it, but people like drop off like flies at any point of friction. So if you can stick with it, you're already doing amazingly. You're already in the top 5% of AI, more like top 2% of AI users easily. Anyways, if you pay attention, you can see a new icon right here, which is the MCP tools available. This turns Claude from a simple chatbot into an actual AI agent, which is just like heaps of difference in terms of capability. And you'll see what I mean. So right now we have these two MCP tools, Brave Local Search. So it searches for local businesses and places using Brave local search API, and then Brave Web Search, which is, you know, the main one, performs a web search using the Brave Search API. So now if we do the same prompt, which is browse the web for Bitcoin news, any other activity that requires browsing the web, it can now use the Brave Web Search tool with the MCP servers. Now we need to allow it because, you know, this is just security practice so that nothing can go crazy. Like, especially if you give it access to your own files, which there is actually a server if we go into the GitHub and click on the servers, there is one with the local yeah, file system. So it can change up your files. And if you don't pay attention what you're clicking, which you absolutely should do, you should check like, okay, what's happening? All right, it's making a query to web. This is safe, right? It just cannot mess up my system. But if you give it the ability to change files, delete files, move files, rewrite files on your computer, that's where it can get dangerous. So, you know, don't just blindly accept this and I'm glad Anthropic added this um, confirmation so that people don't just go crazy and, you know, trying to give the AI agent your entire computer and then it messes up and they're like, oh my God, you want to sue Anthropic. So let's click on allow for this chat and it will now perform the web search. And actually, I think it did 10 different websites, right? Yeah. Query count 10. And we have some news. Uh, obviously, this alone is not that crazy, which is why we're going to add a second tool, which is the GitHub tool. Now, already, I would say this is pretty great because normally Claude doesn't have web search. So just giving it the ability to browse the web is already a huge improvement, right? But where it gets crazy is that where you give multiple tools and you can use them all at once. So let's go back into Vectal and let's go into step six and copy this link. Again, I'm going to put it below the video. And this will take us to the repo for the GitHub MCP server which if we scroll all the way down, again, we have this code. So I'm going to copy this. And then actually, this is why using cursor is good. I can highlight this, do edit, and I'm going to say, add this in. And it's going to add the MCP servers in the correct JSON format, which, you know, it's super simple. But if you've never written code or d done JSON, you might be like confused and you might accidentally like paste it in the wrong way. So, you know, just by using cursor, which right now I would say is the best code editor, especially after they added the agent feature yesterday, which... Honestly, I'm going to make a video on that. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. But in general, I just think Cursor is right now the best AI code editor. Now, if you want to learn more about it, I have a really in-depth tutorial in the New Society that will teach you how to build anything with Cursor. So check it out. Again, New Society will be linked below the video. Anyways, now that you've pasted this in, you'll notice that we also need to provide our GitHub personal token, same as we did with Brave. And it's also super simple. So let's go to github.com. If you don't have a GitHub account, create one. This is must do for anybody who's serious about building AI startups, AI agents, or anything that involves a single line of code, you need to have GitHub. Don't be scared of it. It's just a place for people to put their GitHub code and for you to control different versions of your program. Once you do that, we can actually go back to the repo from Anthropic and click on this link, which will show us the personal access tokens, which is basically like API keys, but for GitHub. So we need to click on create a new token and click on just the classic one, it's fine. I'm gonna name it New Society 
token. Expiration, I'm going to do seven days because it's just a test token. And actually, you know what? I'm going to delete it before uploading these videos because you should never share your API keys with anyone. So don't do what I'm doing here. Do not share your API keys with other people. API keys and tokens, treat them like passwords. Don't share them anywhere. So I'm going to delete mine before uploading video. Now, what we need to do is we need to give it repo permissions, then write packages. Uh, I mean, probably not all of these, but uh, uh, um, we don't need to do delete packages. We're going to do admin. Okay. Uh, uh, user data. Let's not give it delete repo. There is no need for that. I think this is solid. I'm just like freestyling this, to be honest. I'm not going to even admit I know what I'm doing. I'm, go I'm giving it the ones I think it needs for this. So yeah, let's create token. If it declines, then I'm going to give it more, but this should be more than enough. Let's copy that. Let's go back into cursor and replace the entire stuff, including these brackets with the access token. So just make sure to save the file, co command S, control S. Now that we've entered both the Brave token and the GitHub token, we can actually go back into Claude. We can, we have to close it again, restart it. So let's open up the Claude desktop app again. And this time we need to see more MCP tools. And there it is. We see 11 MCP tools instead of two previously. So now we can see, okay, we have the Brave ones, but then we have GitHub tools, right? From server Brave search, from server GitHub, create branch, create issue, create or update file, pull request, repository, fork repository. So as I said, it can do anything a full stack programmer can do with GitHub. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So now this is what you'll be waiting for. With a single prompt, we will do a task that even a year ago, you would need a programmer to do, right? Definitely two years ago. There was no way, you know, you could do this if you aren't a programmer. Now with AI tools, you just type in plain English and you can do the job of a software engineer. Like guys, if you aren't excited about this, if you aren't doing anything with AI, you're going to be left behind. I'm just going to put it bluntly. So let's go into step seven in Vectal, run everything together and copy this prompt, which again comes from Alex Albert, shout out. If you're watching this, Alex, please come on my podcast. I've already reached out to you multiple times, but you're a busy guy, so I assume you're not checking your DM. Anyways, let's paste this prompt in. I'm just gonna read it out. Please do the following. Make a simple HTML page, create a repository called New Society Test, push the HTML page to New Society Test repo, add a little CSS to the HTML page, then push it up, make an issue. By the way, this is one prompt, guys, keep in mind one prompt plain english make an issue suggesting we add more content make a branch now make a branch called feature and make that fix and push the change finally make a pull request against the main branch with these changes so this is you know a multi-step agent this is, isn't just like one tool call this is going to be multiple different steps all from a single prompt in plain english so this is what i mean guys like the future is here. Start building AI agents, start using AI agents. Otherwise you will seriously miss out. So let's approve this. So create a repository. With GitHub, it's more important that you check this. That way it's not like deleting some of your current repos. That would be very bad, especially if you're building an AI startup like me. But here we can clearly see it's create a repository. So there is no harm in creating a new repo. Let's click on allow for this chat. So it already created the repository. So if we go back into GitHub, we should be able to see this. So click on your profile, your repositories, and boom, there it is. New society test created just now. So let's click on that. And in a few moments, here we will see Claude actually coding files, creating new files, adding new issues, doing pull requests, all of that just from our Claude desktop app with the MCP server. Guys, this is crazy. So let's continue. We need to approve create or update file. So this is fine. Allow for this chat. Again, just don't blindly admit everything, okay? So, okay, we have an error. Uh, MCP error invalid argument. So I think it did the wrong argument. So let's see if it fixes that. Let me try again with the correct format. So it can even like figure out what it did wrong. And if it couldn't actually, what we could do is we could just tell it to use the Brave search because we added Brave into our config file, Claude desktop config JSON. So in our MCP servers, we have the Brave search. So now you don't have to switch to perplexity. You don't have to switch to chat GPT. You can just tell Claude to use the Brave search to perform a web search to just get the relevant info. So from, from the Claude app, you can just do so much more right now. So again, push through the friction, sit down for 30 minutes, do this setup. You will be in the top 5% of people when it comes to AI capability. Honestly, it's more like top 0.5%, but I want to be realistic here. So let's allow this as well. So now it's creating an issue. So let's go back into browser, but I'm using Brave browser coincidentally, but doesn't matter what browser you're using. Let's refresh this and we should see an issue right here. Add more content sections to homepage. So if we click on that, boom, we should enhance the homepage with more sections. So since it's linked to my profile, it has my access token. It's made from my, 
I just realized like some of you, if you have a software engineering job or quality assurance job, something like that, right? Obviously not like a kernel developer, not like try hard C++ programming that's like super deep. But for most like simple tasks, if you set this up, you can actually do like an eight hour of work in like two or three hours. If you like schedule tasks in advance, it will seem like you're committing all day long. Like you can make it seem like you're working, working 12 hours while it's just clogged desktop, running a few MCP servers, adding issues, doing pull requests on your behalf. And your employers will think you're the most productive person on the team while you just set up one AI agent. The future is here. And obviously, if you're not lazy, you can actually do like days worth of work in your normal eight to 10 hours. So hopefully you guys fall into that category. But anyways, let's go back into Claude. Now it needs to create a new branch. Let's allow that. So we should see if we go into our repo again, we should see two branches right here, beautiful. So we have the main and then we the feature branch. So now Claude is actually coding the HTML file pushed to the feature branch, create pull request, okay. Allow, we got an error, okay, unexpected string. So let's see, oh, it's still writing code. I don't know why I wanted to do that. This is a single instruction in plain English and Claude is still going. All I just did, I clicked a few times. Okay, so it's, it's running into errors with pull requests. Let's see if we have any new pull requests. Okay, we have. So it actually managed to do it. All right, David Andre wants to merge one commit into main from feature. This peer addresses issue, <laughs> you, can, you can build a full programming team in here where it seems like you guys are building something while it's literally just a few AI agents talking to each other, checking each other, giving each other feedback. Yeah, the future is here and it's really hard to overstate how fast our things are going. It's really speeding up. It's impossible to keep up, even for me, and I'm full-time in AI. Like researching and being up to date with AI tools is literally my profession. And I'm still having trouble staying up to date. Yeah, it's literally going to be people who are serious about AI, who pay attention to it and people who don't. And these are going to like create so much more value for themselves and for society. And they're going to get so insanely ahead. It's even hard to comprehend. And these ones are going to slowly fall behind just like any new technology. I mean, there are still people who don't use the internet for some reason. So, you know, more power to them, I guess. Anyways, before I click this step seven off, I want to do one more thing. I'm going to say use artifacts to display the website we've built. So obviously artifacts is a feature that Claude has where it can display the code. So not only can it write the code, which you know most LLMs can do, but it can actually display it as if it would look as when we deploy it on the web, right? So it's gonna merge these two files, both the CSS and the HTML into one, and it's gonna display whatever website we have in this custom GitHub repo that it just created. Now, obviously this is super basic, but that's not the point. The point is that Claude did all of this from a single prompt pushed to GitHub. So this is actually a full repository on GitHub that could be built upon, right? This isn't just a chat history in chat GPT or Claude. It interacted with multiple tools, Brave Search and GitHub to make this happen. And obviously we could do more prompts and refine it because this was all created with a single prompt. I still, you know, I know I'm repeating myself, but this is still crazy. Like if you don't see how insane this is, I, I don't know what to tell you. With that said, we can mark off the last task as complete. And I wanna thank you guys for watching. Again, if you want to be one of the first people to have access to Vectal when I release it, make sure to fill out the free waitlist linked below the video. This will be an AI powered task management app that will automatically sort new tasks for you and also help you complete the task on your list. Basically, this is what the future of productivity will look like. So if you want early access, fill out the waitlist below the video. With that said, hope you guys have a wonderful, productive week. Peace.